Love. It sure is great, isn't it? In fact, love is better than great. Love is swell. And a half. We here at the Church of Mobias believe in love, and we believe in you. Can you believe in love? Can you believe in us? Love and the Church of Mobias. Together we can part the clouds. That is the lamest thing I have ever seen in my entire- <gasps> WEBSTER! Does this look funny to you? No. Should it? I, I, I don't know. That's why I came in here to ask you. Well, does it look funny to you? Well, kind of. It just feels weird, though. Feels. Yeah. Well, would you touch it? Would you see see if no, it feels weird? No, I am weird? not going to touch no, that. No, come on. I just need clarity on the issue. That's all. Look, I'm not going to touch it. Look, that's not the issue right now. Come on. Hey, it's creepy, okay? I mean, you're my son. Oh, come on. It's not like it's any place that's unusual. I came out of yours, for Christ's sake. That's a little bit different. Okay, all right. It, you have to admit, it's a little close to... It. Oh, so tread lightly. But I don't want... Oh, come on, Mom. It, it might be cancer. It is not cancer. But it might be. Do you really want that on your conscience right now? All right. Fine. Fine. Seems fine to me. So you don't think I need to go see a doctor or something? No. No, I do not. <sighs> It's really, it's nothing to be concerned about. But it's a bump! Jeff, sweetie, you've had, what, three bumps checked in the last three months? Have any of them been cancer? No, but look, all I'm saying... What is, makes you think that this one is cancer? It's just, it's, it's a gut feeling, and you, it's red. What? You've had a gut feeling about the last three bumps? I know, but all I'm okay, saying... Okay, okay, look, and then you thought you had a heart attack. And then we had the flesh-eating virus, okay. TB, Got SARS, anthrax poisoning, West Nile, okay. typhoid. Who gets typhoid Mom, nowadays? I get it. Listen, okay. the point is that it would be easier for me to list the diseases that you hadn't thought you had at this point. Chicken pox. Point taken. Much shorter list, isn't it? Look. You've had a gut feeling about every single thing that you've had. Every single thing, even Ebola, because you heard that a monkey in New Jersey had it. New Jersey is 3,000 miles away. It travels fast. Not that fast. And I'm relatively certain the jet stream would be carrying it the other direction. Okay, okay, yeah, and the world was flat, I got it. Listen, you're going to be fine, okay? On my life, I swear. I love you, but sometimes you drive me a little crazy. All right, I love you too. Good night, sweetie. Good night. You're gonna be fine. All right, good, good night. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Good I night. love you. Good, good night. I love you. Good, good night. Jeff, one, once was good enough, okay, honey? Good night. Okay, I'll, I'll see you in the morning, mom. Okay. Good, good night. I love you.
Fish. I, fuck, I don't know. My mom said it could be like a jelly bean that I sat on, and then it kind of... But I, she said there's nothing to worry about, so... I don't know. Well, what do you think? Do you think it could be cancer? No, I don't think it'd be cancer, all right? Listen, you having cancer would be like me having a second ass. That'd be sweet. What? A second ass, that'd be sweet. What? What, it wouldn't be sweet? Like, come on, think about it. I mean, we could take that thing around, uh, show it off, dude, and feed it, be like a pet. You're sick. I'm not sick. Well, you get that thing in all the major newspapers around here. You know Evan would love that shit. Oh, thing. God, dude, you're being disgusting. I wasn't kidding. I'm not kidding either, Frank. I mean, come on, we could take that thing to, like, birthday parties and bar mitzvahs and just basic public appearances. The monetary value alone, don't you know what that means? Yeah, it means you don't have cancer, all right? Jesus, lay off. All right, fine. Well, maybe the bump isn't cancer, but... Haven't you ever had your stomach rumble, like, all day long? Okay, yeah. Yeah, and I know what that is, too. It's either A, hunger, or B, gas, which wouldn't surprise me you having both. So you went for Friday? Well, it's Friday. Well, Frank, that would be a lunar cycle in which it takes the Earth 24 hours to rotate on its own axis, and it was strategically placed hundreds of years ago by Swedes in between Thursday and Saturday. Okay, 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 okay. What is on Friday? I mean, the movies, asshole. The new movies. God Come on. damn it. Okay, is Friday forever and always going to be new movie day? As long as I have anything to say about it. <sighs> Has anyone ever told you you're a very boring person? No, no, they haven't. But that's only because I generally hang out with people who are less interesting than I am. Are you calling me boring? In so many words, yes. You know, I have half a mind to kick your ass right now. <laughs> okay, but uh, you won't because number one, you can't, and number two, you love me and you know it. I... I love you. It's, ugh, oh, for it's Christ's guy. sakes. Tone down the homophobia <laughs> just a little bit, will you please? I mean, besides, you know that I'm right. No, you're not. Okay, uh, what did you do on Wednesday? Why? Because on Wednesday, I went to a big movie premiere for the film festival. Posh surroundings, powerful people, me. So I ask you again, what did you do? I bought a new book. Hey, he bought a new book. Hey, he bought a new book. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, listen, 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 all right. Not all of us determine the size of the uh, excitement by the size of the event. Jesus Christ. Did you just use the it's not the size that matters argument in regards to what you did on Wednesday night? Yeah, okay, because it's a valid argument. Yeah, it's also annoying as shit, okay? Just face it, I'm a more interesting person than you. It's okay. All right, all right, fine. Maybe like your narrow definition, yeah, you're right. Any day of the week, any day of the week I take my narrow definition over your size's bullshit, okay? You do that. Yeah, well, I gotta go to class. I'm up this way. Hey, what class are you going to? Drama. Oh, yeah, that class. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Nothing. 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 Just did. To... How are you doing in that class? I'm doing fine. I, I don't know. I probably have a high B. Maybe or. Fuck you, okay? <laughs> Fuck you, Okay, sourdough listen, bread. listen, listen, okay? I'm not, I'm not judging or anything. All I'm saying is that I find it a little bit funny that you've turned your, your drama class into intergender relationship seeking 101. I did not. Oh. Okay, it's just a coincidence. Oh, coincidence, okay. Yeah. So was it a coincidence last semester? Yeah, it was. And the semester before yeah, that? Yeah, it and was. Semester before yes, that. Yes, okay, the whole fucking thing was just one big coincidence. Okay, listen, don't God get on the fucking damn. defensive, okay? She's a hot girl. Exactly, that should be clue number one that I've absolutely no interest in her whatsoever. Okay, you do have a penis, right? I don't know. You want to look? Because I can undo my belt. Okay, okay. Listen, I'm just saying that that, that sentence right there, that makes no sense. What do you mean it makes no sense? Of course it does. How do you fucking figure? Look, call me crazy, but I only like spending my time pursuing goals in which I have an actual chance of achieving them. Oh. I mean, think about it. Why would an attractive, smart girl like her even think twice about me, man? I don't know, okay? You're a nice guy. Keep pining and eventually good things will happen, right? Right? Keep pining and eventually good things will happen? What are you, signing my yearbook? You want me to have a fun summer too? Okay, listen, all I'm saying is that you're a good guy, okay? Good things are supposed to happen to people like you. Uh, no, okay, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but this isn't the movies, man. I mean, in real life, people like me get chewed up, spit out, and turned into cynical husks of our former selves. Okay, we, we begin to hate ourselves, and eventually we begin to see the entertaining part of suicide. 
How very nihilistic of you. Thanks, I try. Oh, listen, I gotta go up this way, I'm a little late. Look, what are you doing after class? I gotta go get changed. Why, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to class. What, why, why do you have to change if you're going to class? Yeah, I'm gonna be in a different class than I am now, you know, different class, different clothes, different... Wow, that's not effeminate at all, but you okay? All right, whatever. All right, well, you so, have a nice class. Yeah, you have a nice crush. Okay. The key to a good monologue isn't memorization. That's a common misconception about monologues and performances in general. But how do you give a good performance without the lines? No, the lines will be there. You need to have the lines, okay? But the lines don't add up to anything if you can't feel your character. You need to inhabit your character. Or else you're worthless up here. Isn't that a little bit cliché? Yes, of course. That's why I trust it. Why is that? How do things become clichés? Well, I don't know. I'm not really sure. A bunch of crazy bastards like yourself sit up all night making s'mores and playing balderdash until you come up with the same idea about something? Wrong. Anyone else have any ideas? Miss Millengroff? Well, clichés come about due to their position as a universal truth. I mean, think about it. Lots of different people from all over the world, from so many different backgrounds, wouldn't come up with the same idea unless there was some type of truth behind it. Uh, actually, that's bullshit. Uh, language. <laughs> language? What, did I wander into a sixth grade science class here? Come on, Trevor, honestly, this is fucking college. In like 15 minutes, I'm gonna be up there doing a monologue written by David Mamet. So your uh, little war against indecency can take a back seat for now, don't you think? I mean, geez, all I'm saying is that from the moment that the first writer put his pen to paper for the first time, formulas have existed in philosophy and in writing and in theater. In theater or drama or acting or whatever you want to call it, you can almost always bet that one of the following is going to happen. The boy's going to get his dream girl. The disapproving father's going to begin to see things through his child's eyes. The alcoholic is going to reform and better himself. The good guy will triumph and the bad guy will lose. Well, what does that all add up to? I'll tell you what it adds up to. Nothing. It's just a worthless sum of a shitload of unoriginal ideas, and that goes for your theater philosophy as well. All right, I'm intrigued. Look, all I'm saying is that it's easy for you to stand up there and say, you need to inhabit your role, because it's fucking been said before. It's an unoriginal idea. Now, have you had your own original thoughts on this matter? That would be a different story, and I'm sure you do, and I'm sure that they're brilliant, and they would blow me away if I ever heard them. You're just too lazy to articulate them. Do you know it takes some real balls to sit in my class and call me lazy? and to decry my methods, especially from where you're sitting. Yeah, but you're not going to do anything about it. Why not? Because I respect you, and, and you respect me too. True, but I still think you're wrong. Okay, that's fine. What's my grade in this class? I'd need to check. You need to check? You're the professor. Ballpark it, please. I'm pretty sure you have a good idea. Okay. B plus. Maybe an A minus, I think. And what's that based on? Well, part of it's participation. And the other part? Well, quality of performance. Exactly. The longest amount of time that it's ever taken me to prepare for a performance in this class is 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So that right there kind of sends your Stanislavski shit out the window with a swift kick in the ass, don't you think? Well, you'd probably have the A if you studied more and rehearsed more. I don't need the A. I really don't. And the fact of the matter is that the average person can't tell the difference between a B-plus performance and an A. So you actually think you know more about drama than me? No. No, absolutely not. That would be presumptuous on my part. You obviously know way more. You're a professor. All I'm saying is there's more than one way to skin a cat. Actually, I'd have to agree with him. I mean, you've been saying the same thing ever since the first week of class, and it's become no more insightful since that first week. Holy shit, she fucking agreed Okay, with me. that's nice. So we did that. Back to what I was saying. Your monologues are due this week. And the first up is Jeff. So, that was fun. At least she noticed this time. What the hell are you talking about? Your little scene back there in class. The whole display, it was for her benefit. Shut your face. All for her benefit? Are you kidding me? I did what I did back there for the good of the class, okay? And my own ego. Uh, but... Trust me, your ego was fine. Yeah. Okay, and the class has gotten used to tuning out his bullshit. Admit it, you did it for her. Okay, so what? So I did it for her. I, I mean, you're right, she noticed this time. It's no big deal, trust me. 
it's no big deal. Are you fucking kidding me? She, she agreed with me. She stood up in front of the whole class for the whole world to see, and she goes, you know, I actually agree with him. Are you telling me that's not a big deal? Oh my God. You're right, it does mean everything. Now you guys are gonna get married, and then you can drop out of college together, and then you can move to like Vienna. And, and then like you can exchange bodily fluids, and she'll have like five of your babies. And it's all because she agreed with you. Holy shit. Are you done? Are you sure? Think about that for a second, because I have like a half an hour before I even have to be anywhere, so you can keep going. You keep going, I'll tell you when something's funny. You want to do that, or do you want to just... Thank you. Because that was fun. That was fun for you, wasn't it? Of course. Yeah. Look, I know exactly what's going on here, okay? I, I realize that I have absolutely no chance with her at all. I have no illusions of that whatsoever. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm fucking Shrek here, for Christ's sake. Sans the, the accent. accent. But I'm, I'm painfully aware of my actual chances with her, okay? So I don't need to hear it from you guys every two seconds. Oh. Oh, that was... Did you just feel that? Oh my God. Jesus, that was, oh man, that was, that was weird. It was, the whole, whole room was like really, uh, really blurry for a split second. Oh, it was, it was like, oh, I can't see anything. And then I was fine. Oh. Jesus, uh, has that ever happened to you? Yeah, what do you think, it's like cancer or something? Uh, why, why, why would I think that? Why, why would it be cancer? Have you heard something? Do I, should I, should I be afraid? Cause I'll fucking go to no, the doctor, I don't no, care. No, no, God no, okay? It's, just, you think everything is cancer or erectile dysfunction or hey, something. Hey, ED is common in my family, thank you very much. You know what, it happens all the time, yeah. okay? So I shouldn't be afraid. No, God. That's all you have to say. If you're this bad about diseases now, I'd hate to see what happens when you add STDs into the mix. STDs? Yeah. You know, like if you make it with your dream girl. Oh, for Christ's sake. You didn't just say make it, did you? Yeah. Jesus. What time is Pacey showing up, Dawson? God damn. You know what I mean by it. You mean it, like sex, sexual intercourse, fucking, if you will. God, we are in public, you know. <gasps> public! Oh, God forbid someone overhears me talking about me putting my penis into some woman's vagina. Not yours. Oh, God! What the fuck did you tell me somebody was coming? <laughs> Jeff Grindelman with a tremendous shot. What, a, what an amazing feat. On this yeah, 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 Aurora's yeah. Day. What's the big idea here? Why is it such a big deal to you? Oh, come on, dude. It was a hole in one. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah, that's something accomplished by about, I don't know, 3,000 people every day. Come on, dude. They're common. Thanks for my ball. They're not common for me. Yeah, well, I find that sad, or... frankly. Yeah, well, whoa. Speaking of Frank, it's about time you got here. We've been waiting yeah, for like a Jesus. half an hour for your stupid ass. Hey, we gave hey. you a six on that last hole, too. <laughs> I didn't even play the last hole, you fucks. Whose fault was that? That would be yours. Okay, 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 listen. I'm sorry I didn't run out of class to play a trivial game oh, of golf. Blah, blah, oh, God, man. that's all we need to hear. Go. Sauce or milk table, too. Who's ahead? That would be me, sir. Okay, that's not going to last. Okay. Yeah, but you forget. Mini golf's about the only physical activity Arnold Schwarzenegger over here is any good at. Eating is a physical activity, brother. I stand corrected. Yeah, get it right next time, Oh, right? yeah! So you did some more crushing on your lady love today? Hey, Frank. Fuck you. Did right? you just say lady love? <laughs> Can we go, please? <laughs> what planet are you from? Fuck you. <laughs> What's he talking about? He's not talking... Don't, don't worry about it. Can we just move on, please? What, do you got some chick you're hiding? What do you got going on over there? I didn't tell you. No, you didn't tell me. I didn't tell you. No. Huh, must not be any of your fucking business, then. All right, Okay, God. okay, okay, listen. Technically, it's been going on for about two years now. Will you shut the two fuck years? up, man? What the hell? Jesus, can we go, please? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You never told him? I never got around to it, okay? I mean, shit, the only reason you stumbled upon it was by accident, you nosy bastard. Okay, well, who is she? She's nobody you know, okay, man? Trust me. I mean, Jesus Christ, what's a sudden interest in my boring-ass life? Don't the two of you have something better to talk about? Right. Aha. Uh -huh. So damn. what's up with you, nose butt? 
Okay, well, uh, I was eating graham crackers in Polly's side today. Okay, ah, da, 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 da. Isn't Graham Cracker a guy in the third row in your class? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's your pen name when you write poetry, you fool. Right, let's, right, 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 right. let's go. Hey, let's talk about your lady love while we're at it. <laughs> you know you're retarded, right? And you wear Daisy Dukes. So, you gonna do it? Do what, the slam? No, the fucking Foxtrot. Of course the slam. I don't know, I haven't thought about it. You hadn't thought about it? Come on, you can't be nervous. No, I'm not nervous. I, I just don't know if I have enough new material. Okay, so write some more. Yay! What a great idea! Write some more. Why in God's name did I not think of that? Maybe because it's fucking hard to write new material? I mean, Jesus, when was the last time you wrote something you thought was good enough to read, huh? I don't know, like November? Thank you, November. Six months. Six bloody months. Okay, okay. So even if you don't want to compete, do you still want to go? I mean, it might be fun. Tim's going to be there, right? When have you known Tim to miss one of these things? Come on, he got clear from work like two weeks ago. See, there's my second reason not to go. And what reason is that? Does anybody ever beat Tim? Not that I can think of. Exactly. Because when it comes to poetry, Tim is the messiah. So it should be fun to watch him. What the hell are you talking about? Well, if Tim is the messiah, then it should be fun to watch him, so you have no reason not to go. I might be working then anyways, okay? Hey, Terry? Do you have Jeff working on Sunday? Yes, why? I need you to be a deer right now and scribble his name off the schedule. I'm not Jesus scribbling anything. Christ. We need him on Sunday. Thank you. Not even as a favor to little old me? Leave it be, Heather, okay? Will you please just leave it be? I will do no such thing. You just might want to listen to the boy. He knows what he's talking about. No, he doesn't. Believe me. Anyway, he's of more value to you if he's off on Sunday. How do you figure? You know the slam? The poetry thingy. Yep. Our boy is primed to compete. Is that true, Jeff? Not exactly. Not exactly, meaning what? Meaning not entirely. So partially, then, that is true? Not really. How so? Look, I thought about it, okay? That's as far as it's gone. So you thought about it? Yes. You haven't decided? Right. Because you see, it was her idea in the first place. Can I please read my book? I see, and she couldn't quite sell you? No, not really. Then sell me. If you can sell me, I think I should be able to sell him. Just exactly how do you think you're going to do that? You see out there on the sidewalk? Yeah. You see Nick there handing out the flyers? Yeah, what about him? How'd you like to be in his place? That really doesn't faze me, actually. What if I throw in you'd have to wear the big coffee bean suit in the back? The one that smells like yak piss? How many coffee bean suits do we have, Jeff? Of course the one that smells like yak piss. Okay, see, now you've got me by the short and curlies. Good, then it's settled. Sell me on why I scribble and it comes down to his choice. The coffee bean suit or the competition? Okay, how much business do you lose every Sunday? I don't know, about $700. And why do you think that is? The poetry reading? Smart man. Now, how do you steal the poetry crowd back from them? Cheaper coffee? Oh, fuck cheaper coffee. Forget all that. You get a ringer to go in there. A guy like our buddy Jeff here. And what good does that do? So he goes in, competes, wins, and people love him. That's great for Jeff, but how does it help me? I was getting to that. So anyway, Jeff wins the competition, and then he says, and this is the part you're gonna love. From now on, you can see me perform at Java Jungle every Sunday at this time. Boom! All of a sudden, everybody's coming here. You could put his award up there somewhere, and then you could build a little stage over there, and then $700 worth of adoring fans make their way here to see their favorite poet. All right, I like your plan, but what if he loses? Even if he comes in second, you're still up like $300 or more every Sunday. What if he... Finishes lower than second? That won't happen. Our boy's too good. Yeah, but your boy doesn't even really know if he wants to do this. How about that? That's just fine. I know for you. Take Sunday off. Do the poetry thing. Come on, Terry, man. What happens if I... Coffee bean suit. Fine. I guess that settles that then. So you win? I'll do it. But only if you do it too. No, that's not happening. <laughs> Come on, I thought you just said you couldn't wait to see me read. True, but I can think of one thing that would be more fun than that. And that would be... Watching you sweat balls on a street corner in a big foam rubber coffee bean suit. You know what? You have a point. And I'm out of here. Alright, Terry, I'll see you later, huh? Already? Yeah. Hey. So, yeah. Where are you going? The hell do you think I'm going? I'm going to the theater. I have a screening. Oh, of what? The new Kevin Smith movie. Oh, no shit, can I go? <laughs> okay, no, you can't go at all. Oh, why don't you just go fuck yourself? You know you love me. Peace.
You're late. Not my fault. Movie ran late. You could have left early. Uh, if I leave early, how am I supposed to write a review? What? It's not like you have to watch a whole movie to review it. Yeah, well, uh, I guess you would know all about that, wouldn't you? Jeff, I don't need the attitude. I'm smarter than you, okay? I just am. Deal with it. That's why I'm the editor and you're the... the... whatever it is you are. Critic. Yeah, critic. It, it seems like it should be such an easy job. Really? So you, you think you could do it? Easily. And I wouldn't need any of that seeing the whole movie bullshit either. Just show me the first 15, the last 15, the beginning and the end, and I'll tell you if you have a winner or not. And I'll do it in plain, simple, easy to understand English, unlike you. So, in other words, you would do it with no style. <laughs> what you call style, I call bullshit. And it hurts your column. Exactly what about my style hurts my column? Now? You're just too nitpicky, too specific, too... what's the word I'm looking for? Critical? I'm a critic! Yeah, but don't you agree that opinions get in the way of good criticism? Do you ever think before you speak, or do you just open your mouth and let the words fall out? No, I'd watch what you say. I can fire you. Yeah, Evan, but you need my stuff to fill your paper. Yes, and you need the paycheck you get from filling my paper, so that makes us even. You know what, Evan? This is fun and everything, but it's ridiculous. And I have writing to do, and I'm past my deadline, so I'm going to get going, okay? Hold a sec, oh. Jeff. Oh, Frank, is that your story? Uh... Yeah, the county commissioner's thing? Yeah, that it? Uh, yeah. It's got a great title, too. Only thing more full of garbage than dump is commission that runs it. That sounds awfully opinionated for a title. I mean, the news shouldn't take sides. It's an editorial. Yes, my point exactly. Since when are editorials supposed to be one-sided? Do you think before you speak, or you just open your mouth and let the words fall out? Hmm, you know, Jeff just asked me the same thing. I'll bet he did. Wow, well, this has got to be better than last week's column. Is there a picture? Ugh. Yes. How big? Three by five. Well, that's okay. We might have to make it bigger. But I'll take care of that. You can't make it any larger. I mean, the story's already long enough, and it would cut part of it out. That's fine. I'll cut something unimportant. Oh, like you did about the county fair. Yeah. You cut out the dates! So? Oh, and there better not be any quoting anonymous sources here like there was last week. Why not? Because no one has ever gotten ahead in this business by quoting anonymous sources. What about Woodward and Bernstein? I'm sorry. I, I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, I, I've got an editorial to write. Yeah, I, I've got stuff to do. Jeff, before you get to writing, I need to ask you to do something. What? I need to you to write a retraction of last week's review. What? Why? Well, you see, we got a letter on it, and uh, well, apparently, you're wrong. I was wrong? It was an opinion piece. Holy shit, Evan, who's to say whether or not my opinion is right or wrong? That's easy. Me. He asked you to write a retraction. Yeah. Of a review. Yeah. Why? He, he got a letter saying that it didn't agree with my column, so automatically that makes me wrong. Does he ever think before he speaks? Or does he just open his mouth and let the words fall out? <laughs> my sentiments exactly. I mean, God, Mom, you have no idea what it's like to have to sit there and listen to this guy talk about nothing and not be able to say anything about it. Jeff, 
You are my son, right? At least until the tests come back. <laughs> Fuck off. What? Look, I'm your son and I get my sense of humor from you, okay? So don't blame me for your genetics. And I'm your mother and I will blame you for whatever the hell I want. <sighs> but you are my son, yes? Yes. Well, then I would like to think that my son has the balls to tell off an idiot whenever he gets the chance. What about respecting my elders? Not when the elder in question is done within a pillowcase full of watermelon seeds. See my point? Yeah. There is no excuse for respecting the stupid. They should be pitied and nothing more. But... But how did you get that? What? That... That thing that you have. The, the ability to say and do and just otherwise just generally act on what you really want. It's not something that you get. It's something that you have. Okay, well then how do I turn it on? Well, I guess there's two ways, really. One of which is not very pretty. Okay, and that would be? That would be that you get pushed to your breaking point. I mean, you come face to face with it and you just can't fucking take it anymore. The other way? The other way is to, to trust the people who tell you that you can do and say and think whatever you want to. Within reason, though, right? You want to put a qualifier on it, that's up to you. Which one was it for you? What do you think? The duo scene. This will be worth 100 points of your final grade. It is due next week, and I don't want you working with any friends or people that you've worked with before. I want everyone here to pick somebody they've never worked with before. The scene should be between three and five minutes long and can either be dramatic or comedic. The scenes must be published in one form or another. That means no taking scenes that you wrote yourself. I want to see you try to interpret someone else's work, not your own. Now, you can have the rest of the class today to pair off and then select a scene. There will be no class on Friday and we can start performing these on Monday. For those of you who can't figure it out, that means you'll have to get together outside of class. Now, you are all free to mill about and find a partner. So, do you want to partner on this or what? I think he knows we're friends. I mean, he'd have to be an idiot not to. Okay, so I'll ask you again. Do you want to partner on this? Well, like I said, I'm game, but I really don't think he'd go for it, so. Trust me, he'll shut up and take whatever I give him, okay? Uh, don't be stupid, come on. You and me, the way it should be, right? Baby? <laughs> okay, back off on the baby thing and maybe we'll have an agreement. All right, whatever you say, chicky poop. Okay, I'm perfectly capable of leveling you, you know? Whatever, I'm quick. You, Jeff? You're... Uh, I, uh, yeah? Do you want to work on this thing with me? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I really would. Uh, I would love to, but Heather, Heather and I were kind We're of, just are... talking about how great it would be for you two to work together. <laughs> She's a funny girl. No, uh, we were going to do something by um, Tom, Tom Stoppard. Tom Stoppard? Yeah, the guy who wrote Rosencrantz and... I know who Tom Stoppard is, and I also know he doesn't write good parts for women. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Charlie Kaufman, then, or, 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 or Mammoth. Oh, just... uh, I've always wanted to do something by Mammoth. I mean, you're always doing stuff in class, and it comes off really well. It just seems like a lot of fun. See? She likes Mammoth. I think that just about shut up <laughs> But you... Can you manage would. just fine. I mean, I'm sure I could find someone else to partner with. Besides, you are Trevor. 
I'm begging you, don't fucking, don't do yeah, this. Yeah, it sounds like a great idea. So you two will work together. And you know what? I think I'll go find Ken. I've always wanted to work with him. Yeah. Fun. You Hi, Ken. So, uh, what should we do? I, 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 um, I, I don't know. Uh, give me a second to think about that. I'm, I'm gonna go away. And I'll, I'll be back. I, I'll be right back. Okay, I'll be right here. Where else would you be? <laughs> Good point. Uh, wait, do you, do you not want to work with me? No, uh, of, co of course not. What, what, what gave you that idea? No, I mean, you'd be crazy not to want to work with me. Wow. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. It's, it's, you, you just said that. What, that you have to be crazy not to want to work with me? Yeah, that, 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 was, that was it. Oh, it's, um, it's this thing I'm doing now. It's just a theory I'm trying out. What theory would that be? Egotism is a good thing. I mean, think about it. If I acknowledge everybody else's talent, what's wrong with stating my own? Okay, sure. I guess I never thought of it like that. Well, you should try it sometime. There's no better cure for depression. Okay. So what do you do in your spare time? Go home and count the number of people that you're better than? <laughs> no, but now that you mention it, I should give that a try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, sure. So what, what scene do you want to do? Oh, well, I thought I'd leave that up to you. You seem intelligent enough. But this Kaufman cat, he's the one who wrote being John Malkovich, right? Yeah. Yeah, he, he is. That's him. Is your mind somewhere else? No, no. Why, why, why do you ask? Well, you seem hesitant to speak to me, like, almost nervous. No, it's, it's, it's just that we've never uh, really talked before, and I'm just nervous around new people, I guess. That's all. Well, that's funny. I usually only get like that with guys I have a crush on. <coughs> really? That's interesting. So, yeah, we could do a coffin scene if you want. I, I could... Uh, I could find one, I'm sure. How long do you need to rehearse? Uh, not long, actually, but um, I have to leave early tonight, so I was hoping we could get together at my house, like, maybe Saturday. Sure. Saturdays is great. I, I gotta leave early, too. I, I gotta... The doctors... Never mind, but that's, you know, that's, that's fine. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'll, I'll bring some scripts by, and, and we could look over them and, and decide. Uh, do, you, do you have a copy machine? Mm, no, I don't. Uh, that's, that's fine. It's okay. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take care of it. It's not a big deal. Okay, okay well, hold on a sec. Here. Um, this directions from here. I hope that's okay. Uh, sure. That's, that's, um, that's fine. Okay, well, yeah. um, I'll see you Saturday then. It's a date. It's a date! <laughs> oh, and sure. sweetie, would you leave the Woody Allen impression at home? You're a lot more fun without it. <laughs> Just, gee, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Here, here, that's, okay. that works. See ya, we're gonna. All right, this one's called Jesus is the Shit. Hope you enjoy it. I have more in common with Jesus Christ than any Christian I've ever met. Seriously, Jesus, Napoleon, Hitler, and I are all cut from the same cloth. I heard this guy talking this one time about how the shit some basketball player is. Obviously, he's not privy to how the shit I am, but he will be. He goddamn will be. Mass mind control is an incredible thing. No matter how you feel about their personal politics, you have to admit, Jesus was the shit, Napoleon was the shit, Hitler was the shit, and I am the shit. Heaven or hell, I'm sitting at the big people table. So what are you doing, just listening tonight? Yeah, I, get, I gotta get myself in the right frame of mind for Sunday, you know? Good, you're doing it then. Yeah. No need for congratulations, I was forced into it against my will. Sure. Let's, uh, well, let's just take it outside so we don't... Got a little poem for you. I think you might like it, it's called Animal Sex. So who forced you? Terry and Heather. Night, It'll be good that you're reading. You don't do it enough. I'm not as good as you. <laughs> True, but few people are. Jesus Christ, how cocky of you. Did you hear the reaction that I got in there? I earned my cockiness, why don't you earn yours? <laughs> no thank you, okay? I'm fine, I'm very happy with myself being the little nebbishy fellow who stands off to the side and replaces actual charm with liberal amounts of nervousness and discomfort. 
Well, whatever works for you. Well, pity does seem to be working pretty well for me lately. So what's so important you gotta come down here, take me away from the chicks? I need some advice. What kind of advice? Relationship. <laughs> I think I see where this is going. You know they make a shampoo for that. Usually works in about a week. No, not that, okay? Come on. You know what I mean? Like, getting into a relationship advice, that kind. Oh. Okay, I can help you with that. Well, good. And I also need some advice about the slam and my career. Dude, Jeff, I'm a guy, not a Svengali. Well, I mean, I don't know what to say. I guess I just, I just trust you. Anyways, so, about the slam. Yeah. Should I even do it? Of course. You're good enough. And besides, it'll be an honor to beat someone good for a change. Wow, thanks for that overwhelming vote of confidence. Jeff, I'm a poet, not a bullshit artist. Wait a second, aren't they the same thing? Yeah, that's what I figured. See, I set them up, you knock them down, It'll be good. Besides, I haven't heard some new stuff from you in what, six months? Yeah, something like that, I think, yeah. Well, then you have your answer. It'll be good for you. But I don't have anything to write about. I mean, I have one poem ready. That means somehow between now and Sunday, I have to pull two poems from deep within my ass. Uh, and that's hard? Uh, for me, yes, it is. Stick it out. Do the slam. Career advice. It's my fucking editor. <laughs> you mean the guy who thinks he's living in all the president's men? Jesus, you give him way too much credit. He doesn't even know who Woodward and Bernstein are. Man. No shit. Yeah, no shit. Wow, so he's a moron. The wheel's spinning, but the hamster's dead. You Again, you give him way too much credit. I'm not even sure there was a hamster to begin with. I'm pretty sure it's just a figment of his imagination or something. <laughs> You're not going to do it, are you? I was. I was, and then... I talked to my mom and she says that I should give him something else. Yeah, like a fucking box knife to the head. No, more like a letter telling him to fuck off. I always liked your mom. And shit, man, she was being nice. I wouldn't give him a letter saying to fuck off. I'd give him a letter telling him to eat shit, kiss my ass, and then fuck off. You have a lot of repressed anger, don't you? Well, anyways, about the girl. So you want advice how to get her, huh? Actually, I want advice as to whether or not it's even worth my time. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> well, for starters, I look like this. So? Who cares? Confidence can overcome that. Are you kidding me? Look at me, Tim. There's not enough confidence in the entire fucking world. Why you gotta do that? What? You're so hard on yourself. 20 years of life experience. How's that for starters? You're a funny guy. You're cool enough. What's your problem? I'd rather not go into my emotional scars just yet, okay? Can we just stick to the topic at hand? There's gotta be more to you than self effacing jokes and bullshit. Yeah, Come on. and there's gotta be more to you than poetry and chicks. So, what's your point? <laughs> well, to use the vernacular of our times, you show me yours, and I'll show you mine. Okay, so we're done with that. You can't avoid it. That's right, good. good. That leaves one question, though. If you're just going to be so hard on yourself, what good is advice from me going to do? I don't know. I, I just think out of all the people that surround me, you would know the best about what I should do. Well, then all I can say is this. Do you like her? Yes. Do you enjoy spending time with her? I, I don't really know yet. Okay. Is she smart? Well, I'd say so. Is she a pretty little number? Yeah. And finally, does she have a vagina? I hope so. Why wouldn't she? You obviously haven't seen the crying game. Oh, all right. Yes. Okay, I get it. Yes. She has a vagina. Well, then you have your answer. My opinion, anyway. Tim, they're calling for an encore. That's my cue. You want to come watch? Yeah. I don't see why not. Hey, look, man. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. No problem, dude. It's what I do. But... What if your advice backfires? <laughs> what if you go crashing and burning? Yeah. Well, then I just better start watching myself hear poetry now. Why? Because hurt like that, that's what great poetry is made of. Well, what are you doing? 
Nothing, just, uh, just sitting, thinking, reading. <laughs> well, what are you reading? Um, the Collected Poems of uh, Sylvia Plath. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, well, you know, you're trying to get into a poetic frame of mind, you, you might as well learn from the best, you know what I mean? <laughs> sounds like a plan. Hey, Mom, how did, how did Dad get you to go out with him? Why? You crushing over some dame? <laughs> uh, yeah, kinda. Well, good. It's about damn time. That was an interesting response. Hey, no, I mean, really, for a while there, I thought maybe you were gay. Okay. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I've had enough parental insight for one night. Hey, look, okay. I mean, I didn't mean to insult you. I was just surprised. Well, why are you coming to me with this? Because you're my mother. and I don't know. I, I guess I just trust your opinions on some things. Mm. So you went to everybody else and still not sure what to do? I'm the last resort. It's that obvious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So how did your dad get me to go out with him? Well, it's really kind of fucked up. Well, it's okay. I don't really see how it's going to help you. I, I don't. I don't care. I'd still. I'd still like to hear it. Okay. So this is like, I don't know, 20-something years ago. And your dad and I are members of a community theater group. I'm an actress, and he is the director and the lead. And he is fat, huge, and annoying to boot. He was an asshole to the group. But with me, he was different. He was a nice fella, kind and interesting and funny. I mean, a complete 180 from the obnoxious ass that he was to the rest of the group. But I, I just couldn't feel for him, you know, like that. I mean, he was a fat ass. And call me shallow, I know, but I just didn't date fat people. So we finished our first play together, and in the next one I get the director's chair. And I picked Neil Simon, of course. I think it was Star Spangled Girl, and I cast myself in the lead. And I haven't seen your father in like six months, and here he comes to audition for the lead. And he had lost weight, but he was still fat. I mean, too fat for me. But I cast him. So we start talking, and we start our friendship again, and then it gets to where he's asking me out like every single day. And I always turn him down. I don't want to mess up the friendship, I tell him. Well, I guess it gets to the point where he must just snap. Because one day, I come home from work, and he's standing outside my apartment. And it's raining. And I say, what are you doing there? And he says, I am not going to leave here until you agree to go out with me. Well, I turned him down and I walked inside and I closed the door. So the next day when I'm leaving for work, he's still there. And I turn him down again. And that evening when I come home, he is still standing there and I turn him down again. And it's like raining the entire time. So the next morning when I open the door and I go out, he's still standing there. And it's pretty much been raining the whole time. And I just think to myself, maybe this is what love looks like. This big, fat, sometimes obnoxious, soaking wet guy who cares about me more than he does for comfort. And I said yes.
beautiful story. Yeah, I know. And eight months later, he pretty much did the same thing to get me to marry him. Wow. A whole relationship based on one man's perseverance. Well, there was love there, too. I mean, dedication breeds love, in my experience. So did the story help? No. <laughs> Not really. What the hell am I supposed to do? Bug, just bug the shit out of her until she says yes? It worked for me. Yeah, but, I mean, with all due respect, well, not all women are as crazy as you. Well, what is that supposed to mean? What do you mean, what is that supposed to mean? You basically gave it up to a glorified stalker. The only well, reason he wasn't a stalker is because he probably couldn't find a bush big enough to hide his ass behind. Well, that is an asshole way of looking at it. Hey, your genetics, remember? Listen. All I'm saying is this. If you really like this girl, and you think about her all the time, then it's not going to hurt you to put yourself out there. I mean, you said it yourself. You have my genetics, mine and your father's. And I think you know us both well enough to know that we have what it takes to get what we want. So you should get yourself out there and let this girl know how you feel. Maybe you're right. Um, anyways, uh, could you excuse me? Uh, I, I, I just got something I gotta do. Oh. Yeah, so. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Got a retraction to write? No. A letter. Good for you. How you doing, Evan? Nice day, isn't it? Well, I hadn't really thought about it, but now that I have, yeah, it's all right. Wait, 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 wait. Back up. You think? Hey, watch out, okay? Look, I'm smarter than you because I'm your boss. And that makes me more important than you. Therefore, I'm smarter than you. Right. That's smarter and that was that was nice it was a nifty little circle of that thought that was that was enjoyable uh -huh. you bet your ass there was i like to do things in circles that's what smart people do what the hell does that mean well i could explain it to you but i don't think you'd understand oh no seriously please try me uh maybe later some other time if not now evan when fuck off Ooh. That was nice. I like that. See right there what you just said? That was intelligent. That was, that was good. Can we do that again? Because that was just fun. Look, I could speak in a series of clucks and squeals, and it wouldn't matter. Because, and I think you haven't got this point quite right yet, because I am your boss. Right. You're my boss. Right. I have meaning to ask you about that. Could you do me a favor, man to man? And we, could we go three... Maybe four seconds without you reminding me that constantly? Why? You got a problem with it? It haunts my existence to its very core yeah. and beyond. I know one thing that you could do about it, but I don't you think you have the guts. You know what? That mm -hmm. reminds me. I have something for you. Uh, is this is your retraction? Because if it is... No, it's not my retraction. It's something that I should have given you a long time ago, Evan. It's a letter telling you to go fuck yourself. Wow, it's pretty ballsy of you. Yeah, I know it's pretty ballsy of me. It's quite the change, isn't it? But here it is for the whole world to see in plain English. And you can go ahead and fire me. After you've soaked it all up, after you read it, please fire me. Because I'm going to walk out of here securing the knowledge that I didn't put up with your shit anymore. And I'm going to be able to get a job somewhere else. Because whether you like it or not, Evan, or whether you realize it, I am smarter than you. That's right. You may have a higher position than me now at age, what are you, 41, something like that? I am where I am at 20. 20. So you can bite me hard, okay, asshole? Because I have a bright future ahead of me. A bright fucking future. So bright, I gotta wear shades. And you've hit your peak. You're 40 years old and you've already hit your peak. You know what? 
you're an idiot and you're an annoying idiot to boot. And the only reason that I've always put up with your shit for so long is because I lack the balls to tell you what to go do with yourself. But no more. I hope you get hit by several buses, Evan. I hope you die, and I hope it hurts. So you can take that letter, take this job, and go fuck yourself. Okay, got that out of your system, did you? Good. Now let me speak, okay? I'd love to fire you right now. Believe me, I would. But you're my most popular columnist. And as dumb as you may think I am, I know that I can't get rid of the one reason why people bother to pick up this paper. And as for the retraction, you don't have to, you don't have to bother to write it because I got a letter this morning, you see, and it agrees with your review. Uh, here, you can read it for yourself. Oh, um, okay. Um, dear VC Gazette, long time reader, love your paper, gossip column is fun, Frank's editorial stuff, just one question, why so many pictures? Uh, and, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, I am also a huge fan, as is my whole family, of your publication's movie reviews. They are well written and funny, and I agree with them most of the time. I especially love last week's review of The Cat in the Hat. The rhyming was perfect, and the content really captured just how awful the movie was. I wish there are more critics out there like Jeff Grindelin, but the fact that he has a home at your paper is good enough for me. I love his stuff. He is the best part of your paper, and my whole family agrees. Keep up the good work. Signed, Ernie Timpesky, Reno, Nevada. So, so this made you change your mind? Well, obviously. I mean, the guy's right. Well, how so? Well, he's obviously right. Right. Got it. What I'm asking is, why is he right? Because his letter is longer than the other guy's. Oh, Jesus Christ, Evan. What? <laughs> Nothing. You know what? Never mind. Whatever works. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Skip it. So... What have you got for me this week? Actually, I'm, I'm going to have to get back to you on that, Evan. To be honest, I didn't expect to have a job after today. Hmm. Life's full of little surprises, ain't it? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Wait a minute. I, I'm not fired. Oh, figured that out, did you? No, no. I mean, I'm, I'm not fired. That, that, that means that I'm important to you. To, to this paper. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, good. Pat yourself on the back. Go ahead. Jerk yourself off. But just, could you just do it someplace else? I don't want to get anything in my eye. Wow. Heaven. Bravo. Not bad. That, that, that was almost clever. Did you, did you hurt yourself? Do you need to sit down? Do you need juice? I have juice. Almost clever. I, I know it was clever. I mean, otherwise, how could I have said what I just said? Well, I, I, I don't know. Evan, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. What, what, what do squirrels have to do with this? <laughs> you know what? Nothing. Don't worry about it. What I'm getting at is, I have you over a barrel. What barrel? Never mind. <laughs> Strike one. <laughs> let's, let's move on. I have you between a, a rock and a hard place. What? Wow, swing and a miss. Stick with me, Evan, please. They get harder as we go along. I came in here today, yes? Right, yes. Yeah, right. Right. Then I gave you a letter, remember that? Mm -hmm. uh, right. and, I, and I told you to go fuck yourself, right? Right. And you should have fired me, by all accords, you should have fired me, but you didn't. Because you need me, and, and you know it. So... So, the time has come to make some demands. Oh. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> no, look, you guys aren't even giving it a chance, okay? Just listen to the whole idea. Look, all I'm saying is, is that it would be kick ass if every time I said something funny or like came out with a wisecrack or something, that if I could pause myself and let credits start to roll. Credits. Credits. What? I mean, look, just imagine, okay? Just, just see my vision. 
okay? You're talking to someone, all right, okay? And you're having this really deep conversation with someone, and the conversation is going one of two ways. Either it's going well, you just want to end it on a high note, leave an impression, you know, something like that, or it's headed down the dreaded slope of doom, okay? Kind of like right uh, now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 that was a good example, though. That was not funny, but it was a good example. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was. No. Okay. Okay. If something happens. Here, hold this. Okay. You're talking to them and you're paying attention and everything's going and you hear something and you catch it like it was something just happened. And you go, oh, what do you mean? Kind of like now? Da da da. Credits. Oh rolling, my God. Rolling. I thought Frank was stupid. Come on, you you're like retarded. it. You're retarded. Come on, you, you guys thought it was. Da da da. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, um. Okay, uh, I, 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 am, am I crazy, or did you guys just see a flash of light? What does it matter if we saw a flash of light or not? <laughs> Hello, it matters a lot. I was reading Good Housekeeping, and I read that that's a sign of cancer. So if I saw it, and nobody else did, we need to go see a doctor right now. Well, I didn't personally see a flash of light. Adam, how about you? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Confident. That's not really going to help me, okay? I need a yes or no answer. This is my life we're all talking about All right, all right, all right. I saw a freaking light. Okay. All right, next time you see a light, and I don't, then you can freak out. Until okay. then, just chill the hell out. Dang. Sometimes, I'm just... All right, fine, all right? All right, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm sorry. Go. Go ahead. Cancer. <laughs> Jesus. Look at that shit. Oh yeah, so you didn't get fired? No, better yet, this guy was rewarded, man. Yep. Wow. These are my good looks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about telling my boss to go screw himself also. Well, I'm pretty sure I already did that today for you, Frank. No, 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 my other boss. Oh, come on, man. Please don't feed my ego and, and try and act like I inspired you somehow, okay? But you did. You honestly did, Jeff. How do you figure? Mr. Six Jobs in one year. I mean, with the exception of Evan, you've never really had a problem telling your bosses to go screw themselves. Oh. As a matter of fact, I'd almost consider it a formal greeting from you. Well, when you're right, you're right. Doesn't really matter anyway. Why not? Well, because you don't have what he's got. Like what? Yeah, like what? The letter. You told him about the letter? No, man, I, fuck I, I didn't. You. I, I wanted to tell him about the letter. I didn't, I didn't tell your problem. I didn't tell man. him about the letter. God. You didn't tell him about the letter. No, I didn't tell him about the letter. I was going to leave it up to you. I mean, it's your whole deal. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I didn't tell him about the letter. Well, neither did I. That was my plan. Was I was, How did you find out about the letter? I know. Ernie Tempensky, at your service. No fucking way. Yep. Excuse the ignorant expression. Big way, motherfucker. Oh, oh my God, I love you. No, Ew, no, seriously. Off. No, I love you. No, get listen, off. listen. I love you. I would bear your children if I could. And even though we can't, I'll let you try. That's how much... Wow. All right. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't want to make him jealous. <laughs> Eat guano and die. Ew. Ew. Guano. Oh, no. But seriously, man. That, that is the coolest thing anyone's ever done for me. Okay, okay. Blah. I'm a great friend. Doesn't mean you can mess up the game. Come on. It's your turn. I know, dude. Come on. Take a shot. Please. Okay. So I can beat you. Uh, beat me? Beat that, baby! <laughs> okay, when it comes to beating that, I defer to the master. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. Ready or not? Oh, I am Tiger Woods! Da da da! Tiger beat, you mean. So you got your script selected? Um, kind of. Uh, I've, I've narrowed it down to two. Uh, I've got, uh, Being John Malkovich by Kaufman and Sexual Perversity in Chicago. Hmm. Kaufman or Mamet? Yeah. Why no Smith? Well, Heather and I have already done all the really good Smith scenes, for men and women at least, you know, so there's really nothing for me and Denise to do unless I ever play a guy. Oh yeah, that'd be weird. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so Kaufman or Mamet? I mean, that sounds like a pretty tough choice. Yeah, that's why I'm letting her make it. Are there any major differences between the scenes? But you mean besides the fact that they're completely different? No, I meant with regard to physical activity. What do you mean? Well, 
when I was a girl, like 17, I was in the high school drama class and there was this guy that I had a crush on and I wanted to go out with him. Okay. So what? By your own admission, that was never really a problem for you, right? I mean, you just asked the guy out point blank. No, that was in college. This was earlier. Before I was the Hellcat that we know and love today. Okay, so you really like this guy, right? Uh, yeah. But I didn't know how he felt about me. And then one day the teacher paired us up in this duo scene thing. And so I asked him what he wanted to do, and he said I could pick a few things, and then he would decide. So I did this really huge, extensive search, and I got the perfect two scenes. And the only difference was that one scene had a kiss, and the other one didn't. I mean, I thought to myself, great. If he picks the scene with a kiss in it, then he likes me. And if he picks the other one, then he doesn't. So which one did he pick? Well, that doesn't really matter now, does it? What do you mean it doesn't really matter now? Of course it matters. Well, the ending of the story, the last little minute there, was kind of pointless. Give me the Malkovich scene, the one you want to do. I just don't see what the big deal is. Okay, the big deal is right here. They kiss. You are your mother's son. Jesus. It's that obvious, huh? God, have you figured it out? She's going to be able to see it from a mile away. No, she won't. They never do. And besides... The one big difference is, I know you. You're part of me. I mean, from your own mouth, she's almost a stranger. Well, do you even think it's going to be worth it? Yeah, I do. I mean, it'd be a shame to let all that clever planning go to waste. And besides, in my experience, this test always works. Yeah, that's, that's good to hear. Oh. By the way, you don't happen to have any spare poems laying around anywhere, do you? Ooh, the slam. How many poems do you have to write? Two. Gosh, you know, I mean, the way I write, it's like way different from you. And a poem like Nixon is a cocksucker just doesn't play today the way it used to. Mm -hmm. No, no, you're probably right. I see, I see your point. Listen. You want my advice? Always. Just go out there tomorrow and immerse yourself in the world. I mean, your friends, your surroundings, just pay close attention. Your poems will come easily then. All right. Sounds like a plan. What else would it sound like? <sighs> Anyways, look, I gotta type these up oh. for tomorrow, so. So, okay. uh, we'll let me get okay. started on that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, well you should just, um, like, shut up. And she was like, no, you didn't just say that. And I was like, yeah, I did. That totally sounds like something she'd say. Yeah, it so totally does. So I'm like so totally screwed on the book report in English. Yeah, like me too. Like, why in the hell does this plastic, like, even matter? Yeah, so she put a bell in a jar. Like, big deal. You know, the other day, my little brother, like, totally put the cat in a dryer. He did? Totally. Mr. Cat? Totally. Now that's a book I'd totally like to read. So what'd you do? I totally told him not to do it. And he was like, what? And I was like, shut up. I can totally hear you saying that. Mm -hmm. Do you ever, like, just stare at the people to whom we share a generation with and feel like weeping until your eyes pop out of your sockets and you can play kickball with them? Totally. Not you, you know what I'm saying. What, because of people like them? Yeah. Fuck no, man, they're breeding stock. So wait, wait, you're saying that you're actually okay with people like that breeding? <laughs> well, of course, I mean, there has to be a bottom rung to the ladder, otherwise there would be a top. Well, that's a good point, I guess. And besides, from generation to generation, life is like a cappuccino. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, the cream always rises to the top. So you're saying we're the cream? Obviously. Jesus Christ, could you have pushed that fucking metaphor any harder on me? <sighs> Probably not. <laughs> I mean, besides, what the fuck are you doing listening to Tweedledum and Tweedledee over there anyway? I think they're both Tweedledum. You know what I mean. I need inspiration for my poetry. I, my mom told me to go out and observe the world around me. You know, pay attention. I, I don't know. Is it working for you? So far, hell no. Okay. Here's my suggestion. Uh, 
go out and do something. You know, search something out that might make for an interesting topic for a poem. You actually think that's going to work? Yeah, it might. I mean, and besides, it would be better than sitting in the same fucking diner every night for a week waiting for the muse to strike. Are you sure that I can't find a good poem in them? I'm sure you could. But I'm also equally sure that it would suck, because it's an idea that's been done 10,000 times before. I mean, what would your point be? Stupid people are stupid? Oh. Oh. Alright. I got it. Okay. So Jesus. So, so are you in for so tonight? So uh, maybe. What's the movie? It's some movie called Pink. I don't know. It's... Sequel to Beige? Yeah, I think it is. Oh. It's probably gonna suck, but... Eh, yeah, I have right. to be there, so... Oh, well, whatever. Do you want me to pick you up, what, around 6 or so? Uh, yeah, that works for me. <sighs> and when you show up, tell me what you turned out. I got it, I got it. No, I don't got it. When you say do something, what, what is that supposed to mean? I mean, what am I supposed to do? Poetry is, is observation, right? It's not interaction. Okay, interact and observe, you stupid idiot. <laughs> okay, well, that's all well and good and everything, but I mean, how? What am I supposed to do? Um, act contrary to yourself. I don't know how to do that. I don't. Okay, okay, fine. Then, then piss people off, okay? Everybody in the world knows how to piss someone off. I mean, I don't know a person who can't. Okay, well, but I might offend somebody. Oh, oh, you might offend somebody. Oh, be still my heart, oh dearie me. You might offend someone, you fucking pansy. Hey, let's calm it with the pansy, all right, please? Oh, oh, did I offend you? Yeah, you did. Oh, oh, geez, see, there's my point right there, okay? At the end of the day, who does it matter who I offended? It matters to me. Yeah, but it doesn't to me. Okay, let me, let me put the situation to you. All right, let's just say that you're someone that I don't know whatsoever, okay? And that uh, you took what I said seriously. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then, then I've just deeply offended you. Uh, I'd have ruined your whole an entire day. And I did it all by myself. That doesn't make me feel fucking bad. It makes me feel powerful. Yeah, because you're an asshole. Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But guess what? I'm an asshole that's correct about the situation. Now go out there and piss people off. Why would I want to go out and do something like that, huh? Why would I want to go just offend people for the sake of offending people? That's not me, man. That's not what I want to do, and that's not what I'm going to do. Yeah, okay, but it is me, and that's what I am going to do. What are you talking about? Okay. If you're not going to be man enough to do this, then I will. Watch the master. Good luck. It's all about the beard, remember. Hello, ladies. Hi. How are you guys doing today? Fine. Hey, so thanks for picking me up again, man. Whatever, asshole. What do you mean, asshole? It's not my fault I couldn't find my keys. Yeah, well, whatever, all right. So, hey, did I inspire you with anything earlier in that little show today? Well, you mean other than inspiring me to wonder why I'm even fucking friends with you in the first place? Yeah, I'd say you inspired something. See, I told you pissing people off is the key. Well, I guess, but it's not even really about that. It's more about you. What? Why? Because that's what I was inspired to write about. Dude, don't be an asshole. What do you mean, asshole, schmasshole? Don't blame me, blame inspiration. Okay, you can't blame a concept. Uh, I think I just did. So, can you read me this little opus? Uh, no, man, I don't think so. You're gonna have to wait until Sunday, just like everybody else. Shotgun. Think about that for a second, dickhead. You really think I'm gonna fit in the back seat? Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank you. Tomorrow's a big day, huh, Jeffrey, buddy? Huh? Yeah, I know. Happy, happy, yeah. Happy. yeah, I got it. Thank you. I, I remembered. But, but thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it. Thank you for squeezing the clench in my ass just a little bit tighter for tonight. Now that'll be fun. So, is that gonna be your third poem? What? You know about her, about the girl. Oh, man. I can't do that. If I did that, I felt like I'd be exploiting her, and I... I I don't want to do that. All right, fine. Well, then, the way I see it, you have two options. Okay. Okay. First one is, keep your ear to the ground and hope to God something turns up. And? Steal someone else's poem and hope to God no one notices. 
Holy shit! That's it! Yeah, but I was fucking kidding. Yeah, I know you were kidding. I'm not a fucking idiot. That's... That's the key! Okay, dude, you can't read a stolen poem in front of a crowd full of poets, alright? They know something was up. No, 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 no. Not, not actually stealing a poem, but, like, the idea of stealing a poem. You know, like, like... Like, I could use my complete lack of inspiration to, to my advantage. You lost me. Look, look. Look, I could go up there, and I could do a poem where I basically just... Just go through like the themes of like thousands of different poems, and I could show how how hacky poetry can be. I mean, you know, oh my god, that's original. Nobody's ever done that before. Yeah, because it probably wouldn't work. I don't give a good Christ if it doesn't work. I would rather take my chances with a long shot right now than actually admitting that I don't have anything. Holy, that's it. Oh, that that's it. As soon as the movie's over, you're taking me home. I'm not going out tonight. I have poetry to write.
hi. Uh, uh, listen, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Nope, not gonna do it. What? Sorry's not gonna do it. I made lunch for us, Jeff, and now it's cold. You hurt me. You really, really hurt me. Look, I'm really, really sorry. You, you have no I'm idea just how sorry I am. I'm. You are. <laughs> Come on, it's 15 minutes. Big deal. Are you sure? Because. Yeah, what's I... 15 minutes between friends? Friends. <laughs> what? You thought we were something else? No, no. I. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's it's not like I thought that we were more than friends, and I mean, come on, it's it's ju it's just that I thought I did know that you thought you knew me well enough to consider me a friend. You know, that's all. Well, ain't life just full of surprises? Come on in. And since you brought the Woody Allen routine with you, would you at least be so kind as to leave it at the door? Um, sure. Every time you say, um, I'm going to hit you. And every time you pause or stutter for more than four seconds, I'm going to kick you. Deal? Deal. Wow. Quick response. Should I record the moment for posterity? No, I'm full of quick responses. Thank you very much. It's just what I do. And now the boy finds some wind. What am I going to do with you? <sighs> um, I, I... Jesus! What the hell was that for? How quickly we forget. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, I wasn't kidding about lunch. Do you like ham? No. You love really. it? Great. Wait a second, I, I just told you that I, I didn't know what like... you said. It's just my clever way of ignoring it. Well, have you had any thoughts on the scene lately? Wow, a whole question. I might get you out of that shell yet. Yeah, I guess. Seriously, have you had any thoughts on it? Well, my thought was this. I'd let you pick. See, I thought you were going to say that. So I picked two. I figured I'd let you decide. Oh, how sweet of you. So what do you got for me? Well, I've narrowed it down to being John Malkovich and sexual perversity in Chicago. Excellent. Both. You know them? Of course I do. Ever since you first performed a mammoth piece in class, I've been a fan of his stuff, and Kaufman's just brilliant. Wow, I honestly didn't know that about you. What can I say? You learn something new every day. Uh, what's... Oh, I had to write them out. The printer's not really working right now, so I just wrote them out for you. You can keep them. I'm memorized anyways. Okay, let me take a minute and look at these. Oh, yeah. You have very nice handwriting. Thanks. Well, if I had to pick, I'd go for the Malkovich scene. It seems more fun. So let's get to rehearsing. Um. Sure. Ow! What the hell was that for? What'd I tell you? Oh, right. Okay, I know. No more. <laughs> you want to get out of here? I, I thought you said you wanted to rehearse. We can do that somewhere else, can't we, big boy? Yeah. Yeah, we can do that somewhere else. Sure. Why not? lovely place where teenagers come to get high, drunk, and or fuck their brains out. Sounds like fun. They also enjoy the view, or so I'm told. Well, wait a second, if this is a place for drinking, drugging, and, and fucking, how do you know about it? What do you think? <laughs> um, ow! My friends told me about it, ass. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Meet me in Malkovich in one hour. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, that was really good. That was good. Uh, I, I think we. I think we got it. Is that your not too subtle way of asking for a break? Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess you could. I guess you could say that. Sure. What? You gotta hit the loo or something? No. <laughs> Actually, I'm now shifted my attention to the fact that you just called it the loo. Yeah. So what? Big deal. No, see, I can't let that one slide. You can't come out with Lou and then expect me to give you shit about it. Yes, I can, because you're not an asshole. I might be an asshole. How do you know I'm not fronting? 
Maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Because I'm a people person. I read them, Jeff, and you wear your personality on your sleeve, so to speak. Are you calling me shallow? And what if I am? I might have to slap you around a little bit. You know, I might actually enjoy that. Wow, you know, you've come a long way in a few short hours from stuttering Woody Allen clone to threats of physical violence. Uh, yeah, um... Ow! You're, st you're still doing that? What, did I say I'd stopped? No, uh, I, I, guess I, I guess I just assumed. Well, you know what they say about assuming. Makes an ass out of you and ooming. Is that what they say? Surest thing you know. Oh. What? Nothing. It, it, what, what you just said. It's... What, surest thing you know? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's nothing. It, it's my, my friends and I, we say that sometimes. That's all. Well, small world, ain't it? I guess if, if you listen to Disney. <laughs> I don't know. I never really believed Disney. Something about Mickey always seemed shifty to me. Shifty. Mm -hmm. Mickey. Mickey Mouse is shifty. Well, shifty like how? Shifty like a, like a communist shifty or shifty like goofy shifty? Because he's shifty. I don't know. It's just if this six foot tall talking rodent came up to you and started saying stuff, would you believe him? Depends on the rodent. Good answer. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have said it otherwise. Okay, so that was kind of a compliment. What can I say? Every dog deserves a treat now and then. Oh, okay. I see how you operate. You, you hit me with the compliment, then you come with the dog comment. I get it. Okay. Don't be insulted. <laughs> Most dogs are cute and fun. Okay, I, I won't be insulted. Well, that's good to know. Well, anyway, I gotta go. What, are you gonna hit the loo or something? Ow! I, I didn't even do anything that time! In whose opinion? Yeah, like that counts. <laughs> Alright, I'm just, you know, enjoy your trip to the loo. That's all. What? You know, it was almost worth it that time, just because I said blue. What? What? Uh... Oh. All right, have fun. I'll, I'll, I'll be here, laughing to myself. ask you about this house. It's, it's really nice. Do you live here by yourself? Yeah, I have my family killed for the insurance money. It's great. What? I'm kidding. I live with my parents. Oh, okay. Well, hey, listen, uh, you, you did really good today. Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah, yeah, I think I think we're going to be fine. As, as long as you don't forget all this by Monday. No worries, dear. Your grade is in good hands. See that right there, what you just said? That sounded to me a lot more like an opinion than an actual fact. Yeah, but in all fairness, who better to offer an opinion about me than me? Okay. Okay, yeah, sure. I guess there's some crazy logic to that. Huh. Yeah, and there's uh, even more to this. We should hang out sometime. Have an actual conversation, you know, more than just turning phrases on their heads for our own amusement. Seriously? You know me. Would I have said it otherwise? No, you wouldn't have. Yeah, I am being serious here. I mean, let's get to actually know each other. Let's give friendship a shot. Okay, well, uh, I'm game if you are. Good. I gave you my number on Wednesday, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. So, give me a call when you think of something we can do. Actually, uh, I'm thinking of something right now that might be fairly cool. Jeff, the road to my bed is paved with no less than two drinks. Well, I got an hour. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, ow! <laughs> it, well, what it is, um, it's, it's a slam. A poetry competition. I'm gonna be there and so are a lot of other really good poets. Any bad ones? Why, do you have a fetish for bad poetry? It's not really a fetish. More of a curiosity. <laughs> I see. You know, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. What time does it start? Uh, eight. It starts at eight o'clock. That works great for me. Tomorrow at eight. It's a date. Hey, that, <laughs> that rhymed. rhymed. I know, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, me too. So, what time are you picking me up? Actually, I can't pick you up. Well, there better be a damn good reason. It's just... 
you're going to think this is really stupid. I, I like to rehearse my poems on the way there. It's kind of like a dress rehearsal. And I, I just want them to be a surprise to you, you know? Hmm. Well, that's um. Ah. What? You said um. Fair is fair. All right, you're dead. Stop it. Ow! You hit my eye turn! Morning, Jeff. Good morning, Mom. So, how did it go with the girl? Oh, well, Mom, you know, I can't complain. Good to hear. So what scene did she choose? The smile on my face? Come on. I knew she'd pick one with a kiss. You got your mother's jeans in you, kid. Wouldn't that make her a lesbian, then? You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, you were, you were complimenting me. Please, don't stop. Well, yes, and you deserve it. Yes, well, to quote a man much wiser than I, what can I say? Just a hell of a guy. Who said that? The Fresh Prince. Jeff? It's inappropriate to jerk off in front of your mother, even if it is verbally. Jesus, Mom, come on. What? You get your sense of humor from me. That couldn't have possibly come as a shock to you. It wasn't shocking. It was just gross. Don't worry. I'll right-click that and save it to the file of things I need to tell the therapist. Jesus. So, so she's coming tonight. Where? To the poetry thing? Yeah. Good for you. Well, are you ready for that? Sure thing you know. You've got your third poem down. Yep. Absolutely. Can I hear it? <laughs> well, I, I don't That's know. it right there, isn't it? Yeah. But well, I, I just... there's no excuse for saying no. Come on, let me hear it. All right. Well, it is as yet untitled, so here we go. Uh, as I write this now, I, I sit here desperate, waiting for the muse to strike, and yet she doesn't come. Now there are a thousand things that I could do in a situation like this. Most of them are some variation on, on giving up. But I can't do that. So what do I do? I could pilfer the endless reams of easy subjects, you know, teenage angst or teenage love, both so similar as to be unintelligible. I could go the wacky route and, and write a bunch of nonsense, but that almost seems too easy. I could go political, but I'd, I'd piss off half the audience. And so my options narrow. And I arrive at this conclusion. There is one thing that I can do, and that is to stand here before you and confess. I'm out. I am clean out of ideas. I'm tapped. I have nothing more to write, to write for now. And there's nothing that I can do about it. And the one thought that comes to my mind now is this. As I found myself desperate, I searched only the most hacky, been there, done that subjects that I could think of. And I'll bet most of you people have done the same. Could it be that no ideas are responsible for bad ideas? Thousands of poets trip over themselves in the pursuit of the idea that anything is better than nothing. And the result is endless amounts of torturous, bad poetry. So I hold fast as I stand here before you and say that nothing is better than a bad
was wondering when you'd get here. Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> uh, anyways, how are you? Uh, good. You? I'm okay. Uh, a little nervous, you know, but, you know, nothing a shot of vodka won't fix. Uh, and plus, you know, my, my posse's already here, so we're good to go. <laughs> Your posse? Yeah. I, what, you're, you're not down with the lingo? It's my posse. It's my crew. I, I always roll three deep. I mean, come on. Right. Uh, anyways, uh, I gotta go talk to them, so... Uh, but hey, you know, sit down and enjoy yourself, and I'll be back in a little bit, okay? Okay, well, I'll be right here. Okay. Hey, buddy. What's going on, man? What's up, man? Looks like you two are hitting it off. <laughs> so far, so good, huh? I'm out of here. Right. Look, I got a little advice for you, okay? Don't blow it. Uh, thank you. That was exactly what I needed right now. We're off to a roaring start. Okay, listen, all right? Just good luck to you. That's why not. Jesus! I mean, besides, that's not my thing. People don't know me for that around here. I'm, I'm the smart ass. That's my role. Yeah, roles change. What is there? A fucking echo in here? Roles change. Jesus. Well, I got. Adam, buddy. You're on. Who the fuck are you? Everything's going to be okay. What the Who the hell is. It's your coffee shop. Oh, Christ. Listen. I gotta go. Alright, you want my advice? Don't change, it's too late. Let's do what you do best, okay, buddy? I'll see you. Thanks. You coming? Yeah. You see, that's advice that I can use. No, it's the advice you want to hear. It's the same thing. Maybe in your mind, but not in reality. So, so what can I do then? What am I supposed to do? Get up there and be yourself. What happens if she bolts? I mean, what happens if she just Forget gets up and walks her. out? Forget about her, Jeff. It's no big deal. You know what? You can't always play life so fucking safe. Alright? And you remember how good it felt to tell Evan off? You never would have done that if we hadn't been hammering it into you. So just go up there and be yourself. Just tell the truth. That's what she wants, right? Yes. You guess? She fucking told you herself! You know... That's my two cents. Do what you will. Tim's up next. Oh, yay. Let's go. Pile it on. Her pink princess tee clings tightly to her second trimester upper half, and her faded Calvins tightly gift wrap her nimble, fresh out of puberty lower half. It's getting harder now that she's starting to show. She doesn't own any clothing that doesn't accentuate her once flat midriff. She knows that 
Her friends will call her a slut. Her parents will call her an idiot. Her church will call her a sinner. And her government will call her out of luck. They'll say, you can drive to the clinic, but you can't go in without parental consent. They'll say, you should have thought all this out before you let him put it in you. And it's a damn shame you were born female and have to deal with shit like this. It's a damn shame that no one ever convinced you you're worth more than your sex appeal. And it's a damn shame that you're only 16 but feel like your life is already over. So now you stand here, anorexic and pregnant. Sure, we could blame the media and Carson Daly. We could blame the government and George Bush. We could even blame your parents and your friends. Peer pressure, poor education, but we're not going to. There are too many facets to this one and not enough fingers to point them all out. No, but this time the blame lies solely on you, princess. That's right, you. You are the cause of poverty, crime, overpopulation, crowded prisons. Every single one of them is your fault. Slut, idiot, sinner. Even when you find yourself screaming in some delivery room, your skinny hips popping out of place, and the most sensitive part of your body ripping up the center, you will still and always be just a few stitches short of our sympathy. Thank you. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, uh, this is my third poem. Uh, it's, it's called... You know what? Fuck it. What, what can I say up here in front of you guys that you haven't all heard before? You know, as I'm standing here thinking about it, the, the answer is nothing. I mean, yeah, I, I could get up here and I, I could bullshit about this or that or do some witty little poem about Michael Jackson being a Taliban spy or but at the end of the day where does that put us I'm, I'm sorry to just be realizing this as I'm up here ready to do my poem but I don't want to do that now I, I just want to leave myself for you guys. I want to. I want to tell the truth. So that's what you're gonna get. Me, in a nutshell. My life at a glance. Now, I know that I'm not a really remarkable person. I mean. I go to college, but who doesn't? And I hate it, but who doesn't? And as much life as experience as it gives me, all it does is waste hours in which I could be writing. And so far, I can't say that I found it worth it. I, I have a shitty job at the coffee house up the street and, and I work for a guy who 
the only reason he let me off to come and do this here tonight is in hopes that I could steal business away from this place. And my other boss, a blowhard's blowhard, and an idiot to boot. But I recently worked up the nerve to put him in his place, to tell him what I thought about him, to tell him how I felt about the way he treated me. And I somehow managed to keep my job. So I stand here in front of all of you with an overabundance of confidence. As corny as it may sound and as dorky as it may sound, I love my mother. She's always been there for me and she's my best friend. And I love my friends. <laughs> I love all of them for, for who they are and for who they make me. Frank, who pisses me off a lot of the times, but is always there for me. And Adam, who is the one person that I truly wish I could be more like. And Heather, who has been with me through most of the bad times and is directly responsible for a lot of the good ones. I love my friends. I love them. These are the things that supposedly make up a life. Uh, job, uh, school, friends, family. And, and I stand up here talking to you about them and yet I feel incomplete. I feel incomplete because there is a love that I want in my life that I don't have yet. There is a girl, a woman, who is graceful and she's beautiful and she doesn't even know how I feel about her. She gets me. She understands me. Her name is Denise. And up until about 20 seconds ago, she had no idea how I felt about her. But she's sitting here until she decides to get up and walk out, which by my watch should be any minute. I don't know what to say. I I love her. I love her. I love spending time with her. I love being around her. I, she makes me feel whole. She She has no idea. And this love that I want in my life, well, I can't, I can't sit back and not say anything about it anymore. And I, and I know it's not witty, and I know it's not poetic, and I know it's sappy and, and overdone, and I know it's the things that really bad melodrama is made of. I don't know what to say. It, it's the truth. And that's all I promised. So, take it for what it's worth. Thank you.
I'm not as precious as you can try. Thank you.